Mitch, Mitch, you you're asking for permission. I'm giving you permission to record, so you should be good to go. Okay, Ken, I'm turning it over to you. Okay, thank you. Okay, just before we get started, I just want to make sure everybody who uh, needs to record can do so. Uh, again, we'll ask have the folks who are in Columbus ask questions first. Io, I'd just like to say welcome back. It's good to see thank you. Thank you. Back in thank you, Ken. Appreciate uh, it. Great finish, and uh, we'll start off with questions. Uh, Scott Ritchie, you're up first. Gavin Good on deck, and Brett Barron's in the hole. Go ahead, Scott. I guess I.O. to start with. I mean, after watching your team win the last couple without you, what did it they mean just to get back out there and you know, help you know, end the regular season on another win against the top 10 team? Oh, I mean, that, that, um, that itself, it, it – it gave me confidence. Like if you ask anyone on my team, I was so, I was so excited. Like when my team, you know, won those three games without me because you know that makes my job much easier. If you see down the stretch, Demonte Williams hit a big shot. You know, Bellows playing great, playing with confidence. So you know, I believe my abilities. I put so much work into the gym, uh, so I'm, I'm I'm secure about my what I can do out there on the basketball court. So to see my teammates play with so much confidence and play with so much joy, you know, that was my my um, that was so glad to see. You know, any great player. Um, they can't do it by themselves. You look at any any competitive sport that whoever won, unless you're playing golf or or tennis, um, any team sport, you need your team to be able to play. So to see my team play with so much confidence, it gave me so much joy. And I saw Trent holding a sign that said Big Ten Champs on it as you guys walked off the court. And obviously, you know, Michigan got the title. But do you feel that this team you know, maybe could be Big Ten champions? Yeah, so I think it's all said and done. They were, we, we, um, we will be co-champions. I mean, look, look at our resume. Um, what we lost four games, I believe. Um, uh, we 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 beat Michigan, who who the champs. You know, they didn't play three more games. You know, any day in the Big Ten, anybody can be beat. So, you know, I think we proved that. You know, we one of the best teams in the country, and and, and with this win tonight, I definitely we believe we are Big Ten champions. Okay, we'll go to Gavin Good, and then uh, Brett Barron's on deck. Go ahead, Gavin. I know Andre Curbella talked about needing to step up these last few games uh, without you. He stepped up with you in there today. Um, how important has it, has his play been? Oh, I mean, that's, he's been playing with so much confidence. Um, it's been a, a joy to see um, see him out there, you know, playing playing like that, playing freely. We're going to need that. I'm telling you, like, our, our team is so deep. We have so many, you know, great basketball players. So uh, we're going to need everyone playing with confidence. You know, Bello going out there, doing what he's doing. Um, that definitely helps us. You know, we want to win national championship. So um, we, we, we're going to need everyone on our team to, to um, perform and contribute. And um, they've been doing a great job of that. You came back and executed um, in, the, in the closing moments again, but you guys really struggled at the free throw line throughout the day. How, how big was hitting those free throws in the final moments? Oh, I mean, I was, I, it was like two minutes left and I just want to tell myself, let, let's, fo let's focus in, let, let's bring us home. You know, I try to uh, always seize the moment. And when I step into the line, um, the crazy part about it is when I was when I was hurt out with the concussion, um, a lot of people would wonder why I couldn't put a mask on, but I really had a concussion. So um, the days where I couldn't practice um, because of the concussion protocol, um, my strength, can, I mean, our, our trainer, Paul, let me shoot free throws. So while I was practicing, I was on the other end shooting 500, 600 free throws. So when I got down um, in those closing moments, I just told myself, you know, do what you didn't practice, just breathe. and um, you know, God allowed me to come out there and uh, and perform and, and make the free throws. Okay, Brett Barons, you're up, and then Brandon Simberg on deck. Go ahead, Brett. Io, how did you feel today in the last couple of days leading up to, and, and what's it like playing with the mask on? Uh, I feel pretty good. I've been getting a lot of conditioning in. Um, I didn't really get that out of shape, so you know that that was a um, that was great. Um, and playing with the mask on it. <laughs> It looks cool, but it's a, it's a, I would say it's a unique situation, definitely. You know, when I sweat, you know, the mask can really um, slide a little bit, but I, so I got it tighter, but I, I enjoy it. It makes me focus in more. It, it feels like every shot I'm shooting in my head, I just, I just look at it as an action contest in my face. So I try to just um, focus in even more and dial in even more on my technique. And, um, but down, down towards the end of the game, um, my legs were really feeling good. Uh, my coach, Coach Sheen, he put me through a, a crazy workout to, to get me feeling well. You said you wanted to come back for unfinished business, Io. How much is it 
in your ingrained in you that you guys are on a mission and what does it mean to be in this point now to be a one seed in the NCAA tournament? Oh, I feel it's great. Um, this is exactly what I came back for and more. Um, I want to come back and submit my name with my teammates in history, Illinois basketball history and, and college basketball history. You know, we have a lot more to um, accomplish, but we're going to um, soak all this in. You know, winning, I mean, it isn't guaranteed. So, you know, when we win, we get a big win. We soak it all in. And we were down for three, two minutes left. Um, you know, they were firing um, on, off on offensive end. We could have folded. We didn't. And we got to stop. We made big plays. And, you know, to be here for three years and to, to also be on the other side of the, the stick where after today's game, three years ago, you know, we were worried about how we would get back to our, our city because our record wasn't that good. So to be able to be in this position now, you know, it's great. We just want more. Okay, Brandon Simberg, you're up, and Derek Piper on deck. Go ahead, Brandon. Io, your uh, your family was in attendance today. How cool is that to have them in the stands for the first time this season? Oh, that was great. I actually didn't know they were coming, so when I seen them in the crowd, it just gave me an extra um, extra bit of motivation, you know, to play in front of my family that not seeing me. But um, it was great. It was great to see them there. And then it seemed like Demonte, even though he didn't score a ton, contributed a bunch of ways. What did you kind of see from DeMonte today? Oh, DeMonte, man, he played great. He's a senior. You know, I told him at the four-minute mark – it was no, not four minutes. It was three minutes and 42 seconds, the last media timeout. I said, DeMonte, he he, he just had got called for a bad foul. I said, hey, you're going to be the reason to win this game. You're going to be one of the big reasons to win this game. You know, he's a senior. He's been here all four years. He's been through all the battles. You know, that gave me extra motivation. I told him, Trent, and all our seniors that – you know, I'm going to try to do my best to win this game for you guys because you guys put in so much work, so much effort into this program. So you guys deserve this win. So he came out and he, he does what he does. He made big plays, the defensive end. You know, he does everything that doesn't show up on the um, stat sheet. Thanks, Adam. Hey, Derek Piper. And then uh, we'll go. Uh, there's a couple others who are there. Stephen uh, Hellwig. Go ahead, Derek. Hey, Io, what's this last week and a half been like for you from that Michigan State hit all the way up to now? How would you get through it? Uh, were there some low points for you just as far as disappointment? And uh, just can you describe what that was like? Um, you know, since the Michigan State game, I was really frustrated at the game. You know, actually, after the game, um, I was very frustrated with the game that we lost, of course. And I was frustrated because I knew that I either had a concussion my nose was broke. I knew it was either one or the two, so I knew I was going to have to miss a game. So I was really frustrated with that. But, you know, the great thing um, I have is the Lord. You know, the Lord, I just prayed. I prayed all day, prayed to sleep, prayed when I woke up, just kept praying, talking to my grandfather, talking to my family. They, they encouraged me. And I just told myself that whenever it's time for me to come back out here, I'm going to try to be the best I can to help us win. You know, I knew that my – I, I texted my teammates the same night. I said, you guys are tremendous basketball players. You know, you, you guys are here for a reason. So go out there and compete and do what you guys can do to help us win. And uh, hold it down for me. Because I was very, you know, emotional to not be out there competing with them. You know, they did what they did. Um, I felt well. I started, you know, getting my legs back. And I was able to um, practice and do workouts. Um, I, I just hit it hard. And I was just really mentally focused because I knew with my mask on when I first tried, tried it on, I knew to play, play in it. I had to really focus. It's like, you know, looking at my preview view and, you know, looking at um, up and down. Um, it was a frustration at first, but I just tried to lock in, try to, you know, watch the greats, you know, just try to, you know, overcome adversity. And then it just, um, the Lord just helped me, he eased me down. And, you know, I don't, I don't really fear anything because I believe in, I believe in God. So, you know, I, when any challenge that I come upon, I never fear because I know the Lord is with me and just doing a lot of prayer. Was there a moment in that game when you felt like, okay, I'm feeling right? I know you got a couple of those mid-range pull-ups to go. Was, was that kind of the, the moment? Uh, I feel right. Michigan, we had a scout. I was on a scout team. I had some tough shots. So I'm like, all right, yeah, this, this mask is pretty good. Um, but during the game, you know, I got to lay up. My, you know, I, I came out, you know, I was feeling the game out, trying to pick my spot, see where I can, um, where I was going to be able to um, be successful at. I think I was a little bit. Um, unselfish and unaggressive, but it's it's cool. We got the win, but probably after that that if that pull up, the first pull up, I'm like, all right, yeah, okay, we good. Uh, no worries. Thanks, Al. 
All right, we'll go uh, Joey Wagner and then uh, Marley and then uh, Tyler Cunningham and then Jeremy. Go ahead, Joey. Hey, I owe 11 of 12 wins for you guys down the stretch. It looks like you're going to be a number one seed. What do you, what's your feeling right now as the postseason comes near? How, what do you feel like you guys are at? I feel like we have a chance to win national championship, big team championship, national championship. You know, that's our goal. Um, it's right in front of us. We have taken one game at a time. Um, I think, you know, we're going to do that definitely. We have just focus in. You know, our goal is to win a big team championship and national championship. It's easier to say it, you know, before the season, but, you know, actually been in these battles, you know, playing, you know, damn near every team in the country. Um, we feel like we have a chance to win a Big Ten championship and a national championship. So going to the Big Ten tournament, you know, we get back, we're going to have some great practices, and then we're just going to, you know, focus the entire win championship. How did this stretch, especially at the end, I know you missed those three games, but how did this stretch of road games against top opponents, when you guys in a week played two teams that could have been a number one seed, how, how did that prepare you for what you guys want to do? Oh, I mean, it's a Big Ten. <laughs> The Big Ten, you're going to get number one seeds each and every night. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, um, it just it's the Big Ten. Like, every game is uh, a competitive game. You know, every game is a dogfight. Every game is an NCAA tournament game. But um, to be to win 11 out of 12, you know, we beat some very good teams. You know, it just gives us more confidence. We know we can um, beat anyone in the country. But now, you know, we have two more guaranteed games. So we have to. We're in that mindset where it's when to go home. You know, we've been in that mindset, but we're definitely in that mindset now where it's, it's, it's give it all you got um, for 40 minutes each and every night, and let's just keep surviving until we win championships. We want to, you know, we want all the rings. I believe it's four rings possible left to get. We want them all. So um, that's our that's our goal. Thank you, Ayo. Okay, we'll go with Marley and then Jeremy and then uh, Shannon Ryan. Go ahead, Marley. Aya, what's the confidence level that you guys have right now? And how does this final stretch just maybe propel you here with some momentum as you guys head into the postseason? We're confident we could be anyone. You know, our, our coach, I'm like, I think we're so confident because our coach, like, the, the, the kind of coach he is is so great. Like, people people may look at it like, oh, he's, you know, he's yelling at us, you know, he, he, the, the way he coached, the way he – but I'm telling you, like, when you play for Coach Underwood – like it's just a sense of joy. Like it's like when he yelled at you, it, it's I don't take it. We none of us take it as punishment. We take it as like, you know, okay, he wants to win a championship. Like he went like Brazil, like he went so crazy yesterday on me. And I just, you know, I took it. I said, You're right. You, I'm, I'm not going to get mad at him for wanting to win a championship. And that's just the, the, the way we play, but we play with joy. We play with effort. We play with just fearlessness and um it's it's really showing out there, but it definitely starts from Coach Underwood being on us so much that he gets us to be connected. And, you know, we want to play hard for him so we can just win. All right, thank you. Okay, uh, Jeremy, go ahead. Hey, Io, what did you think uh, of your team when you were out watching them win some of those games, especially Michigan, and, and to see guys like Andre and Trent and DeMonte all step up? I see it every day in the gym. I see it every day in practice. Uh -huh. I see them playing at a, at a at a high level each and every day in practice. So I wasn't surprised. I actually text Coach Underwood also, and I told him, like, you, they must have forgotten that you won 85% of your games before you came here, you know. Um, I'll, never be on to, to, I'll never be on social media. I got off social media for the month of March, so I don't really see anything. But it, someone came up to me and, like, said, like, the coach of the year, Valdez came out, and Coach Underwood wasn't on there. Like, that was, that was you know, that was just crazy. Like, I don't – I really don't understand how he, he couldn't be on there, but – you know, our team, you know, they play hard. You know, Coach Underwood, like I say, he's one of the best coaches in the country. So he he brings the best out of everyone. And our team is so talented. They play with so much. I was so proud when I seen them, you know, execute, you know, in big time situations and win those three games. Because I know to win a national championship, you know, you play, with, what, six games? I'm going to need my teammates to be successful. Like, I, I was so happy. Like, that was a blessing in disguise that I missed those games to see them be able to to grow up even more and excel in so many different roles. And, um, you know, I was happy to see that. And just follow up, I mean, as one playmaker to another, what, what have you seen from Andre um, during the last couple of games? He seems to have elevated his game. Yeah, I just told him now, like, he grew up so much. You know, one thing about Dre is, you know, he has a knack for listening. He has a knack for, you know, picking your brain out. He, like, I used to be on him so much. 
you know, throughout the year because I saw his potential he had. Like he has that eight factor, you know, he has that 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 playmaking ability. So I just wanted to give him different ways where he can, you know, um, excel in his, his basketball game and help us as, as a um, as a team. And he did a great job of that. But um, he just he's hungry. He, you know, he he get, getting extra shots up. He's competing, and um, he's being more aggressive. Thanks, Al. Okay, and then Shannon Ryan, and, th and then we'll move on to DeMonte. Sorry for those who didn't get a question with uh, Io. So go ahead, uh, Shannon. Okay, thanks. Io, um, I'm just curious, a lot of people have made um, remarks about the style of your mask. Did you have any say in picking that black superhero-ish mask? Yeah, I wanted it. Black Mamba, you know. I go by G Mamba, but yeah, I, I, I just love the way it feels. And also LeBron, he wore it when he came back, so. I just, I have a clear one too for a backup, but I like this one. And did, did you have to specially request that or did they give you an option there? Or? No, they gave me different options to mask to wear. And um, I thought this was the best mask for me. And um, yeah, I'm in the comic books and stuff too. So like, yeah, I feel like a superhero with a black mask on. <laughs> it works. And then um, I just want to make sure I'm clear. I might be confused. Is you, you had a concussion and then the mask is protecting what exactly? I broke my nose and I, I was ruled with a concussion the same night. So right, right here, I have a slight, um, I got broke, my nose is broke right here. So the doctor said for the rest of the season, I have to wear this mask to protect this, but I was just out because of the concussion protocol. Gotcha. Okay. Thanks a lot. All right. Hey, thank you. I appreciate your time. Uh, you were great as always. So appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thank you, Ken. Monte, um, Monte. Got Demonte 